Now, 60 percent of Canadians are paying more in carbon tax than they get back in rebates. A fact that I have read into this record time and time again, a fact that the prime minister uh, continues to, to, to attempt to hide from a fact that the parliamentary budget officer just testified to, and a fact that we did not need all of those accurate calculations to know, right. because every single person who's opening their empty fridge to wonder how they're going to feed their kids already knew that fact was real. Yeah. Madam Speaker, we cannot in good conscience Stand by while this prime minister imposes more misery and, and suffering on the Canadian people. Canadians are good. They are decent. They are hardworking. They do not have to give up on the things they used to take for granted. Affordable food and, and homes just for the incompetence of ego and ego of one man. He is not worth the cost. He is not worth the crime. He is not worth the corruption. He is not worth giving up the country that we knew and still love. We as common sense conservatives are ready to restore hope in this country, but it starts with change. We rise today to vote non-confidence in this NDP liberal government and to restore the great country that we love based on the common sense of the common people united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Pierre Poilievre contends that the Prime Minister's initiatives, particularly the implementation of a carbon tax, are posing challenges for Canadian residents. In his address, Poilievre raises widespread concerns regarding the repercussions of governmental choices on individual well-being and societal norms. His depiction of Canadians grappling with the repercussions of governmental directives underscores the overarching theme of seeking significance amidst human anguish, adversity, and hardship. Poilievre's statements are construed as embodying conservative ideals such as personal accountability, economic liberty, and restrained governmental interference. His call to revive Canadian pragmatism, optimism, and prosperity resonates with the conservative ethos of self-reliance and fundamental principles. Poilievre's discourse may be perceived as a manifestation of democratic resistance against governmental meddling and policies that impose additional financial strains on citizens.